Hello there, YouTube. Kind of an unusual day to do, to film a video, middle of the week. But here I am in my most casual outfit and the housekeeping I'm smoking my Dabner short ants devil ants and in it Sutliff great outdoors haven't smoked it on screen in a while well first things first Got a package. I will be opening it in a few moments, and then I think I'll whine and complain a little bit. As I tend to do on this channel, let me put the pipe down, and hopefully, this will be another Dagner. Got it used off eBay. Sorry. I couldn't bring the box because it was simply too large. So let's see. I always wanted a poker, a Dagnar poker, and hopefully this is it. The usual velvet kind of bag. Some pipe cleaners and even a rubber mouthpiece. Very nice. <laughs> Though I probably won't use it. And here's the pipe. Looking for it. Like first time. Yeah. Here's another softy bit. I think I, I want to take it off, but I cannot. <laughs> it's stuck. Probably have to cut through this. No, not moving. Okay, anyways. Here it is. A poker. Nice looking poker with a, an acrylic mouthpiece and sort of brass rings. Chamber looks clean ish. Stamped logo as usual. Quite a nice chunky looking pipe. Always wanted a poker and I couldn't buy one for the longest time because either they didn't have them in stock or or I didn't have the money and in the end they just I think they looks like they stopped producing anything really because I haven't seen a restock on Dagner's website in a long long while you know in a while really really so it's a shame really I like their pipes I have like four maybe four of their pipes and one of them was actually a gift because they Jason thought it would, they once had a uh, sort of a promo when they uh, they would order something for like a hundred bucks and you got a free pipe and I didn't think I qualified because my my order at that time was a hundred bucks and it included the shipping costs and he put it in the, put the free pipe in anyways I think very generous and it's one of my favorite pipes and and this softy bit is a stubborn son of a bitch <laughs> sorry I'm 
looking for a knife or a or something. I have this, which is probably an overkill. And here is hello from my fridge. That is always turns on precisely at the time I'm filming the video. Well, I made the cut. I'm basically tearing it off at this point. Yeah. And here's the mouthpiece. Sort of a dark brown swirl. Yeah. Well, I have a Degner poker at long last. Now comes the whining part. Sorry. Today was, you know, what you people in the West call one of those days. First and foremost, getting this pipe was a chore in itself. I made a mistake by using Pony Express, because <laughs> the seller didn't ship to Russian Federation. And I used a hub in the US, in sunny California. It's basically a company that takes your package US only. Package and resends it to you in Russia or wherever. And they usually have different options. And I chose Pony Express and regretted it immediately. Hey. They are usually, as far as I know, they are a courier service, so they specialize in speedy deliveries, but they have a just a regular tariff. Turns out it takes two, two weeks with some additional time, so as long as USPS and Russian Post. But unlike USPS and Russian Post, they have almost zero tracking on their website. It just says that, you know, the package is being processed and nothing else. At, at the same time, the hub, their website, uh, the intermediary company, they provide full tracking arrived at customs, cleared customs, etc, etc. How come the, some hub is providing tracking information and the company that is supposed to deliver the package is not? That's beyond me. I do not understand that. I ordered it to be, the package to be delivered to a delivery point so I could just pick it up at the time I saw fit but Pony Express phoned me a day before yesterday and say and basically said they are going to deliver it to my home address I said how come I didn't order it oh we have it on the on our bill we know nothing Okay, can you reroute that to my work address? Sure, it will be delivered tomorrow. Next day, yesterday, nothing. At the end of the day, I phone them. I go through two people, about 20 minutes on the phone, getting angry and angrier.
and they basically tell me they, the package is still at the warehouse, it wasn't submitted for delivery. They didn't give it to the courier and they couldn't explain why they didn't do that. So it got delivered today and the information on the website finally changed this afternoon to saying uh, they have no information about this tracking number whatsoever. So, little guy, uh, getting you was a chore. <laughs> really. So here I am finally receiving this package. And today is Wednesday. And on Wednesday I go to practice my guitar. And usually it takes me... I have a window of an hour between the end of my work day and the start of the lesson. So I usually go just on foot. I lunt my way to my you know, teacher's apartment. And naturally everything is against me, usually. There's some late work Like today we had an old, you know, document, an old task catching up to us. It ended up frustrating me to no end, frustrating my boss a little bit. So I went out, just hoping to forget it, filled the, my medical pipe with uh, squadron leader. <laughs> and off I went. Five minutes in. I understand that I left my phone at the office. So I come back. The lunt is basically over at this point. I have to not not jog but go at a you know a rapid pace. So the smoke goes to waste. There's wind blowing in my face as usual because my office is on the river bank sort of a empty space and the you know, wind from the north is just blasting me in the face. So I essentially waste the perfectly good bowl of squadron leader. I take a rather have a rather meaningless lesson. Nothing, you know, interesting to report and then I go home to a surprise from my family my daughter and my wife assembled some you know early new year decorations which is nice but my wife also has an idea in her opinion, a brilliant idea for a little, you know, side job for the weekend, namely Saturday. She was. Her, you know, folks at the folklore ensemble, she's a part of, uh, got contacted from some guys from some you know, obscure TV channel They wanted them to participate in a, you know, episode of some TV show. So, uh, showing them some, they were going to film some, you know, authentic folklore, you know, celebration and merriment. I think the idea of, uh, of this. Uh, TV show episode was to show a contrast between you know modern day Russian celebration, which is basically drinking and listening to loud music, and you know old time activities where people you know dancing, community dances, playing games, etc. So they wanted to do that, and I think everyone was. <laughs> 
everyone's plan is to bring their significant other to this, uh, to this, you know, filming. And basically improvise through that. So they have no script, uh, no rehearsals. Um, I have no, you know, folklore, folk, folklore clothing appropriate because they're filming on the street so it must be warm no clothing I hate to wear someone else's clothing because I am always afraid I might ruin it damage it etc and they have no music they have a rather vague idea of you know what the TV people want And the payment is uh, two point five thousand rubles per person. That's roughly, you know, forty bucks or thirty pounds. And I flat out refused because I, you know, first and foremost, I hate TV people. I really do. I had some, you know, briefly, brief interactions with, you know, TV guys. I hate their, you know, work aesthetic. I, I don't like it. I hate this, you know, half-assed, low-paying jobs. When you are contacted on the whim and you're basically like a trained poodle, you have to, you know, perform some tricks for some small payment, you know. What can I buy for for two and a half thousand rubles, you know? Two tobacco tins. Or maybe two cobs. And I've done a lot of this stuff when I was younger and I was into medieval reenactment well, all the time. Some celebrations, you know, filming some, you know, God knows what for God knows whom. Always without a script, with, you know, zero rehearsals, always basically faking it. Uh, There's something about you know having fun on camera that irritates me to no end. So I flat out refused and it upset my wife. And now I feel terrible. I hate upsetting her, but you know, sometimes you just have to draw the line. I can fully understand, you know, going out and supporting her and her. fellow singers, like the one I did recently when they went to the, you know, small town in the middle of nowhere to sing and participate in the contest, which they won. Or spend some, you know, money on a, some, you know, ridiculous 19th century rag with holes in it that has to be fixed. I can understand that. Spending my Saturday doing some God knows what shit for some obscure, you know, TV channel. In someone else's costume in the cold for 40 bucks. No, no, I cannot do that. So there you have it. <laughs> that's my whining part I just uh, that just that, that's something that goes with being married to a folklore nerd
but no one else in the YTPC has you know, silly problems like that. I'll make it up to her. I don't know how. I'll do my best. The new year is fast approaching. So that's another problem in itself. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna finish this pipe. And go to sleep because I'm, I'm incredibly sleepy. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm, I'm just... I'm sleeping on my feet on, on this chair right now. You know, I'm seconds from doing this and just dozing off. You know, if someone here has a As an experience of, you know, disappointing your loved one but by your refusing to do something, feel free to share it in the comments or film a VR or something. In the meantime, I'll probably, tomorrow maybe, I'll f get this one cleaned up. rub it with some alcohol, vodka, naturally, Russia, and it will be good to go, hopefully. Yeah, in the meantime, I wish you people nice, you know, quiet week with no disturbances, Christmas preparations, etc. Be safe, be merry, don't be like me, and I'll be seeing you in another one of my videos. See you people. Bye.